Hello everyone, welcome to today's class and the title today is Spice Scare. Let's move on to language focus. Ilbon. To this day, the English language uses words such as window and husband, which come directly from the Danish language. There you go, I did not know that. So, to this day is what I have highlighted. Now, we use to this day to describe a situation that still exists after a surprisingly long time. So, to this day, manen shigani chinan furun te, tui, sorry, chigum inal o unul kajido. So, if we look at our examples, to this day, nobody knows. Uh, for sure, who Jack the Ripper was. Jack the Ripper So if you don't know who Jack the Ripper was, he was a very famous uh, serial killer in England? In I think so. Um, and he was known to uh, target prostitutes, uh, people who... Uh, sell their body for sex and yes uh, he was never caught they had suspicion of who it was but they could never prove it to this day French is still spoken in some parts of Louisiana I did not know that either because I thought Louisiana was a very southern state that only spoke uh, English. But there you go, there must have been some French immigrants back in the day. Okay, moving on to Ebon now. Uh, it's questionable whether this is a good enough reason for banning food, uh, banning a food product. So, uh, as you can see, I have highlighted it's questionable weather. Now, use it's questionable weather to suggest that something might be incorrect. All right. So, it's questionable weather. Moa shi, omo inji uimunida donun tulil sudo itta. Okay. So, as an example, it's questionable whether taking a lot of supplements will make you healthier. Manen yong yang jeru. We're not sure. They say that uh, basically, if you're eating enough food, you that's enough nutrient, like healthy food. That's going to be enough uh, nutrients for your body to digest, and supplements will be useless and obviously a waste of money if you uh, uh, take them. Uh, it's questionable whether Jen really tried to do a good job on the project. Jen E. 이 프로젝트를 정말 잘 하려고 노력했는지는 의문이다. So we don't know for sure. Uh, we think this might be incorrect that she tried to do a good job on the project. All right, now let's look at the language focus quiz. 일본. To this day, nobody knows. Remember, to this day. So, we talked about like, Unu kaji do, mo inal, chigum example, after some time has passed. Uh, so, to this day, nobody knows uh, who shot JFK. Unu kaji do, nuga JFK rul, swat ninji amudo mulumida. JFK, John F. Kennedy, the one of the presidents of the United States. To this day, I often think about hmm, what would have happened if I didn't move to Korea. 지금까지도 제가 한국어로 이주하지 않았다면 어떻게 되었을지 자주 생각합니다. Which is true. I'm glad I moved to Korea. But where would I be if I wasn't in Korea? Uh, it's questionable weather hmm, is a good hmm. So remember, it's questionable weather. Uh, uh, 
Okay, it's questionable whether my boss is good at his job. Uh, 제 상사가 자신의 일을 잘하는지 의문입니다. Uh, N Sabon, it's it's questionable whether hmm is helpful for hmm. Uh, hair medicine is helpful for hair loss. I hope so because I'm taking hair medicine. Um, 모발 약이 탈모에 도움이 되는지는 의문입니다. All right, now let's move on to the further discussion. 일본. In general, do you think that eating spicy food is good or bad for people's health? Why? Uh, 저 전반적으로 매운 음식 먹는 것은 건강에 좋다고 생각하시나요? 아니면 나쁘다고 생각하시나요? 이유는 So, obviously, within uh within what do they what, what do you say like within a certain amount uh, I'm pretty sure it's fine for you, right? Like, supposedly, spicy food releases endorphins within your body and it also helps release stress. That's why many Korean women, or even some men, love eating tteokbokki when they're very stressed. Um, uh, moderation is the word I was looking for. Everything in moderation. Uh... Some people I know eat putapokumyon as a meal. Like, not because they're stressed, not because they want to challenge themselves. They just enjoy the flavor, which I think is crazy. But that's how they live their life. So they have a very high tolerance to, to heat, to spiciness. Um, a lot of countries uh, have more spicy food. Think about like countries such as Thailand. Think about countries such as India. They have a lot of spice within their food. Now, have there been studies to say that you know spicy food uh, shortens someone's life? There might be. I'm not too sure. But obviously, everything within moderation is fine. Uh, I can't imagine eating something like bulldog every day would be great for your health because not only is it very spicy, it's also ramen. And yeah, it's not great. But in small doses, I'm sure it's fine. Ibon, why do you think Danish food tends to be so bland? What other countries have very bland food? Denmark 음식이 왜 그렇게 밍밍하다고 생각하시나요? 또 어떤 나라들이 밍밍한 음식이 있나요? Um, maybe because of history. I'm not too sure. It's just a guess. Maybe a long time ago, a lot of Danish people just ate things like bread and fish and whatever. And there wasn't a lot of spices in the area. Um, I don't know if Denmark, and it seems like they don't, grow a lot of spice um, or flavors. Uh, there are a lot of countries that have bland food. Like, to be honest with you... Um, I think Australia has Australian, you can't really say traditional food because Australia doesn't really have traditional food. Uh, they, you know, we love our bread. It's very bland. Rice is very bland, to be honest with you. Um, I think every country has bland elements to their food. Uh, so even Korea, like like I said, rice in Korea by itself, it's bland. It's tasteless. It doesn't really taste of anything. But mixed with some great food like kimchi chige, duenjang chige, uh, uh, meat or whatever, it tastes amazing. Um, so yeah, I think every country has their own bland food. Uh, so I don't think it's just Danish people who eat bland food. Anyway, that wraps it up for today. And I'll see you on the next class. Fearsome. Fearsome. Achilles heel. Achilles heel. Come to light. Come to light. Acute. Acute. 
Toxic. Toxic. Bland. Bland. 